Hello, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Hello, ladies. Hey. Hey there. How are you? Pearson. I'm all right, thanks for asking. Mr. Morgan. You awake yet? Huh? Is something wrong? Ah, it's none. I need to sleep. How into all city for her tree and all. All my world traveling and roaming around. I spied a fair maiden so lovely. <laughs> and gently to her I did say, Hey, you won't let me ride your ring dang do? All right. <laughs> yeah. She pulled up her garment so scared it would soar. I out with old Phoenix went boring for all. I hadn't been boring six inches or more till it all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up, smiled, and said, Bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. <laughs>
I left those arrows by your tent. Appreciate it. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. The, uh, do-gooder? Exactly. Locals. We lent him quite a Not sum. Sure. It Let's seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Herr Strauss. I had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. No, sir, we expect the lady. Hey, Strauss. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. Morning, dear. Hi. Problems you shout out, Lenny. I'll beat you next time we play off. Hey, friend. Fine.
Mister? Good morning, son. Easy. Hey, mister. Oh, Mr. Downs! <laughs> Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs!
Whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Your debts uh, caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Uh, you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Hey, Lenny. We need to play again, Arthur. Let me get my revenge. Hi, Lenny. Morning. Mr. Man That's a strange choice of clothing for this weather. Hey, y'all. Good morning, Arthur. did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Okay. Well, how are you? You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure.
Chop, chop, Uncle Arthur. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I, uh, I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you Hi think? There. We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and... get lost. <laughs> Good morning. Hi there. Like you say, this is a big country. We can always get lost. Yes, and we can always make more money. We'll be okay.